Oh, yes, we are celebrating National Puppy Day, and I have moved over to our newsroom to celebrate with an arguably perfect puppy. He has 3.7 million followers on Instagram, 2.8 million followers on Twitter, more than 210,000 subscribers on YouTube. He is the king of pop culture. Doug the Puck is here. Oh, Hi, Doug. Doug. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a guy. I feel like I can say anything, and his face is the perfect response. Like, Doug, how you feel? Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Mosier, you are Doug's owner. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Now, do you call yourself Doug's owner? Or, like, are you, since he's the king of pop culture, are you the, I don't know, the reigning queen? What, what do we say here? You know, momager is the term <laughs> that I use sometimes. But, yeah, personal assistant, whatever whatever right. Doug needs, I'm there. Wow, whatever Doug needs. So Doug's six years old. Yes. You guys are in from Nashville because this weekend mm -hmm. Doug has a pedestal at the Kids' Choice Awards where celebs can stop and take pictures with him. Crazy. Amazing. Does that kind of blow your mind? Like, when you started his Instagram account, did you think you'd be here doing this? It always blows my mind. <laughs> Every day I'm like, what is happening? This is the best job ever yeah I mean the internet is a really crazy place and everyone's just fallen in love with him and do you think he has like how much awareness does he has of we're doing a photo shoot right now we're on a red carpet right now does he respond well to a lot of people oh my god he absolutely loves the attention he <laughs> he'll jump up on the pedestal tomorrow and just be so excited for have to have people meet him for you know, the night. Wow. So he loves his life. Okay. <laughs> well, we are digging into the behind the scenes of that fabulous life of Doug the Pug. Um, how did you get the idea to start the Instagram account and how long ago was that? So it was about four years ago now. I actually started posting Doug on my personal Instagram account. And it didn't take long for me to realize that people wanted to see Doug more than they <laughs> wanted to see me. So, um, a few months later, I decided, you know, I'm just going to switch it over to Doug's own Instagram and see what happens. And one night I posted a photo or a video, sorry, on his Instagram and his Facebook, which only had a few thousand followers at the time. I woke up the next day. It had 20 million views. So went viral overnight. I was working in the music industry at the time. I decided to quit my job, see where this took me. And now my husband and I do this full time. It is a wow. 365 you know, 24 seven job. How many requests do you get for Doug daily? Quite a bit, you know? <laughs> a lot of people want to meet this guy. Uh, so what was that first picture? Um, it was a video of Doug running around a park with a pug balloon attached to his waist. Wow. And the song, Let Me Tell You About My Best Friend, was playing. Oh. Uh, so yeah. that was cuteness. But now, you know, Doug does a lot of, like, parody pics, um, celeb, you know, pop culture moment photos. How do you come up with the ideas for the, every new post that you do? You know, it's awesome because since his brand is based around pop culture, we just have to pay attention to yeah. E.T. So what's up? Yeah, Thank like you. what's going on Yes. E. <laughs> we kind of base it off of that. Or if there's a popular movie coming out, um, you know, like Dumbo is coming out, for instance. So in my mind, I'm like, I need to go get Doug yeah. an elephant costume. Well, what made you switch it to pop culture from just cute dog videos? It happened pretty naturally. After that first video, um, Rob and I started doing videos of Doug as Harry Pugger or Doug, you know, in The Walking <laughs> Dead or Friends or any, you know, TV show or movie we could think of. So tell me what it's like logistically with a photo shoot. Does Doug love to pose? Do you have oh to gosh. entice him with doggy treats? A little bit of both. He definitely loves his treats, but he also, I mean, he's been doing this since he was really, really young, so it's sec second nature it's, it's to him. It's just his life. He's a child star. Yeah. <laughs> what about how much you put into, like, a photo shoot? How much do you spend on costumes, maybe, and how many hours go into putting it all together? Well, Doug has his own closet. Wow. Um, wow. It's incredible. It's okay. very organized. It's way nicer than my closet. <laughs> um, so we've definitely put a lot of effort into, you know, getting good costumes. And I actually buy him uh, toddler clothing at like Target or H&M. Wow. So um, he fits into those. So that makes it a little easier <laughs> for some things. Does he have an absolute favorite pose? Um, probably the ones where he's sleeping. There you go. He's Keep it easy. Yeah. And, um, and so I would imagine, I mean, have you got, you've got to have some amazing sponsorships, especially, by the way, if Target hasn't yet, like, Target needs to be sponsoring. We, have, we, have, uh, we have some products in Target. We have greeting cards and stuff in Walmart. And you have and, Claire's now, too, right? Yes. So Tell that us is, about Claire's. Oh, my gosh. It is a dream partnership. So um, we're, we've been working with Claire's for almost a year now, and they have a line of Doug plushies and backpacks and anything that you can think of. Doug accessories, it is at Claire's. Amazing. Um, I gotta ask really quickly since we love the celebs with Doug. His favorite celeb? 
uh, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Oh, thank you so much for being with us.